Long time no see, but as you can see, we are in Hit Film Express once again. A little bit overdue from the first tutorial I did, but I said I'd come back and maybe show how to do the compositing thing, and that is what we are going to do today. So as you can see, what I've got here is uh, my little shopping cart video that I put together, and uh, I figured I'd use that as an example. But uh, let's just say, you know, you want to add effects, you want to add text, things like that to your little video here. So what I'm going to do is just grab the cut tool. We're just going to slice up this beginning part right here, just this little clip right there. Let's just say we want to add an effect to this particular part. Obviously, we could do it to the whole thing, but usually you're cutting things up. So whatever. So if I wanted to do something, all right, let's say I want to, uh, I'm just going to come over here and use my scroll wheel to scroll in and out on the viewer. And uh, let's say I want to adjust the, you know, the zoom of this or whatever. So let's go over here to the controls panel. We're going to go to transform and then we can scale it. And I can drag this up and down. See how that kind of makes things move. And I can position this however I want by clicking and dragging, things like that. Well, you know, maybe I want to keyframe this and have it actually move while it plays or something. Well, you can do that, but you can't do it in uh, this particular thing like you can kind of make it static you can leave it just like that and it's fine uh, but if you want it to move then we have to make this a composite shot so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and reset all this stuff and uh, get that the way we want and then what I'm gonna do is you can either click on this button right here you can right click on it right here and you go to make composite shot so when I click on that you'll get this thing that comes up and I'm just gonna call it uh, intro because we're just going to pretend this is like the beginning of our video you can bring in some things here you can uh, do the selected clip entire sequence obviously we want this particular clip here and if you've done anything to it added effects or whatever then you can leave them here or you can move them with the clip into the compositor we of course got rid of our changes so i'm just gonna you know do whatever and hit okay and then you'll see here that we get this new tab intro and then we can come back to editor and this is our timeline again here this is our actual clip that we brought in and we have all these new options here that we can use to uh, add effects and things so you'll notice that this little timeline is only for that little clip that's the full length of our composite here so as odd as it may seem this is actually the only way to add text is you can actually add it into your scene here like onto this clip directly or you can make like a new let me go over here you can see that there's intro there now in our media bin i can come over here and go to new composite shot and make like an empty one and add text to it so it would be text on a transparent background and then you would have that text object here let me just go ahead and show you okay new new thing here i'm going to call it text and uh everything's pretty well good to go i don't really think we need to mess with any of this for now so we're gonna hit okay and you'll see here we now have text and there's nothing in here so what i can do click new layer text layer and then this allows you to adjust the size. We don't really need to worry with that, but I'm just going to, you know, do that. And then you'll see there you get that little square. Let's say we're unhappy with that size. I can right click on it, properties, and then change it. But uh, yeah, that's all you got to do there. Then you come over here, click on this little thing right there. You click in here and you start typing uh, anxious rules three exclamation points specifically that's trademarked so now we've got our text and obviously that's all good and stuff but we can come over here to the text tab and i can highlight this and then like that or hit Control a to select it all and then come over here i'm gonna pick my dang old font i like to use built titling sb for semi bold and uh we don't need to worry about any of this i can click on this number here and drag this up I can come down here and we want to make this like center justified. You can do other things if you have um, your foreground colors and your background colors. Click on this. Make that red if I want to. Now it's red. Another thing that we can do is actually drag this thing right here and you can make the, the, the letter space out and stuff. We're just going to leave that at zero. Anyway, that's just the basics of it. So now what I can do is when I go back into my editor, come over here to my media tab, I can grab this text bring it over and you'll see there is my text now of course let's go ahead and delete that like I said we can come over here I'm gonna actually close that out because it sucks and uh, I'm just gonna go in here and we can add text into here as well I can just click on the text thing right there click in here and it should actually make it by default so we've got these same parameters that we used last time we just kind of inherited them so we're gonna hit okay there we go new text layer and then I can type anxious it's cool three exclamation points do not forget that 
I'm going to click on the little arrow here, drag it over, and go to the text thing here. And we, of course, need to be in the text tool. Highlight it. I'm going to center justify and uh, try to get this thing where we want it to be, something like that. And so, like, you can add text both ways, like, directly on the clip or make, like, a transparency with your, your text and then you're good to go. All right, so that's all good and well, but now what if we want to, you know, do things like we talked about with the effects and whatnot? Well, let's go ahead and go into transform. Obviously, this keyframing thing applies to other effects you add, like changing the parameters effects and things like that. But for now, we're just going to do some basic stuff to show the technique here. So one thing to note is when you're working in this viewer here, you can right click to actually move the, the, the canvas around, so to speak. And when you left click, that actually can affect things like this. So uh, that's a little helpful tip. Otherwise, you can use these buttons up here to change what the cursor is doing. Okay, so let's say we want to go ahead and do some keyframed effects here, just like we did before we had the position and the scale. So let's just go ahead and drag up our scale a bit. We'll make it kind of zoomed in like that. And we'll just... I don't know, we'll bring it over like this. Okay, so now that we've got that as like our base position, but they're not keyframe. You don't see any keyframes showing up here or whatever, but you click this little button right here. Let's go ahead and click that. And we'll go ahead and click position. And you'll see it puts a keyframe there for both of those. And then for the duration of the shot, maybe until it changes angle right there. We're gonna go right about there or something like that. And then we're just gonna go over here and I'm gonna make this back to 100% and then drag this over. And this is basically bring it back to zero. We're just doing something really simple right here. And if I drag this back, then you'll see that we have two different movements. Like obviously our camera is moving in the original shot here, but now we have this additional movement and we can keyframe what those things are doing. So that's pretty much it for compositing. Uh, there is another little detail here is you'll notice these keyframe icons. These are not just the icons for keyframes are actually different types of keyframes. If you're coming over from Minimator or Minimator Tutorials and you know about keyframe transitions, well, there's something similar here. So you have these buttons up here, or you can right click and go to Temporal Interpolation and Spatial Interpolation. Anyway, so you got these smooth in, smooth outs, and all that kind of stuff. So let's just say we want to make these smooth. I'm going to click on both of them by holding the control key. And then when I come up here, you have converts related keyframes to constant. That means that would like suddenly change. It's kind of like the instant keyframe transition. If you're coming from Monomator, you have smooth, you've got smooth in, smooth out, and then manual Bezier. So you'll notice now that the icons are actually the little circles there. Well, if we come over here, I'm just gonna actually do a click and drag like that. I don't know if it matters, but we go over here to value graph, click on that, and then you'll see that this is actually the curve. It goes on that kind of curve like that. But if we drag this up, and kind of well actually let's uh make sure only one of these is selected i'm gonna drag this over like so and uh yeah then we should have a change in how it moves like we obviously are kind of yeah you can kind of see that there this isn't the best example but you'll notice how it's kind of very gradually going and then suddenly speeds up and then goes into position right there so that's a way to do that i'm gonna go ahead and close this and i'm gonna highlight these again and let's just make it uh what was it smooth right there and then that just kind of gives it a little bit of a smoother movement there but you'll notice not so much here but in our initial example with the, the manual curves that it kind of went off frame a little bit so you have to keep that in mind when you go to do this stuff to make sure you don't get any black edges in your video so that's pretty much it that's how you would get some good stuff going on let's just for the fun of it we're going to go ahead and animate our text here and uh, I'll show you another little feature here with the motion blur tool in the compositor so now what basically what that gives us text flies in moves slowly and then zooms back out Pretty basic move, but we can actually make it look a little bit better if we click this button right here, motion blur. And what that's gonna do is automatically apply motion blur to the movement of our text here. So let's watch it again. Woo. See that blur there? I don't know how obvious it is to you in the, the video here, but it gives you some realistic motion blur with fast movements on objects like that. 
And uh, yeah, so that's some pretty cool nifty stuff. So now that we have this, let's go back into the editor and you'll see, let me go ahead and zoom in over here, that this clip that we made the composite shot has automatically changed to the composite shot. So now it's just labeled intro. So when we watch this, we have the changes we made and it's just gonna continue playing and that becomes part of our whole timeline scene. So that's how you could do some composite shots how to add some nifty effects to your videos and stuff like that using hit film express hopefully this video wasn't a complete waste of your time if you liked it hit the like button and that's it so get out of here i don't want to see your face anymore